Beatrice again on Filozzi Low Water Bridge. Water levels are still quite high. The flow rate is not fast, but it's flowing positively strong down towards St. Lucia Estuary. Still hurling its mud that site, but that's it. We have to live with it. It's going into the estuary, nothing we can do to stop it. See you on the other side. Petrus Vivia is reporting live from St. Lucia Estuary, public launch site. The water level at the launch site has lifted up extremely well, as we can see. There's a lot of fun mud sediment in the water, so I presume this is only estuary water, uh, infilosi water coming in to the estuary. Sorry about that, but we'll drive to the front now and link up to this video to see what the situation is at the estuary mouth itself or rather where the estuary mouth should be this is a piece above the St. Lucia ski boat club on the way to Sugarloaf we know that when it's this full it is as full as it was when the estuary opened up naturally with um, Gumedi, Cyclone Gumedi, back in 2007, when the estuary was open for 175 days, uh, it was it breached naturally with this amount of water. We'll have a look now why it hasn't breached yet. I'll try and find a reason. But yeah, this is way, way above the high water mark. This is now 2.7 meters and more with spring tide, high tide, this is what the water would look like. This is that little beach area that used to be, or that's supposed to be in front of Sugarloaf Gate, where we sit and catch some grunters. I have to walk behind this bush. Right, this is our beach area. I must just be very wary of crocodiles, sorry, let me just reverse a little bit. Funny enough, and it's a fact, common sense predicts that we have to put up signs to warn the people not to swim here. Sense is not that common anymore. This is at the boardwalk where uh, we can walk to the beach you can see how the water level has risen over here as well nice sense of space going on here all right i'm having a view at the estuary mouth the reason we've got more water now than with gumeo cyclone gumedi and no breach yet is because the ocean cannot reach the estuary the sandbank they're building from the sand dune they're removing just puts too much space between the estuary and the ocean. Although they're dumping the sand over there, let's just try and zoom in a little bit. Remember this is done with a cell phone camera. There in the distance you can see where they dump the sand. The ocean takes it and washes it northwards along the beach. It's like cementing the estuary mouth shut with every two and a half thousand cubes of sand they deposit down there every five or six minutes. Not even, it's more than five or six, it's less than five or six minutes. So yeah, there's no plan to breach the ocean this year. Although Mr. Zuluma said on a public broadcast program early in 2016, that the estuary will breach with, and the ocean will join up by October 2016. His plans is different. This is what it is today. Good morning from St. Lucia Estuary. What a beautiful sunny day. I hope the guys are going to to the beach today and try and catch some fish. Suggested fishing spots will be north of Jabula Beach. Main beach towards marker number four, 
or better known as the banana bush or the slides. Yes, it's a little bit of a walk, but there's nothing we can do about it. If you want to fish, we have to put ourselves out there. Nothing exciting happened over the evening. Just more water entering the estuary, pushing through the narrows up to Charters Creek. Hopefully we'll get some photos today of Charters Creek area. Gonna go towards the ski boat lap and see what I can get, what footage I can get there. This is our daily monitoring spot at the ski boat lap. We can see the water is still very high. The machines on the opposite side is working hard. You can hear them in the background. It's almost like in the foreground. The guys are really doing their bit to see if this plan of management is going to work. Digging into the water there, looks like they fit something hard. If I remember correctly, there's an underwater uh, rock bank, but that looks like if they're just picking up some mud. But yeah, there's some sort of a rock formation there under the water. Let's go and look up at my old photos and see if I can find it. Beautiful sunrise. Slight westerly wind blowing. Probably will turn into a north easterly, northwesterly a little bit later. We'll have to watch wind guru and see what's happening. Cloud formation has receded completely. The water at the mouth area is very, very close. Estuary is pushing hard right there where the sun is shining. There's a very narrow piece of land there. As we've read on Facebook, it's a man made formation that keeps the estuary close at the moment. They are using this dredger spoils if I have to deduce my personal observation to close that low point over there between the estuary and the ocean and hopefully creating a low point over there. Maybe they will make the low point man bait, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Purely my observation, guys. Don't shoot me for it. Just a quick reference to Pardet. Been warning her against the dangers that's lurking in the water. And she's been listening. She keeps well clear of the water edge this morning. Don't have to talk to her every five minutes again. There's some movement of some sort here at the little sugarloaf, what I call the sugarloaf corner. Water level is pretty much stable. If we use that no swimming sign as a reference. But yeah, I'll have to come closer to lunchtime and walk out on the walkway to see what is happening there in front. That's pretty much it guys. Enjoy the video. Like it. Please comment. Don't like it. Give your negative comments. I don't mind. Just interact with the video. Thank you very much.